Now we're looking for the origin of the Weiss molecular field and the answer was given in 1928 by Heisenberg. And Heisenberg argued that the Weiss molecular field is due to the uh, neighboring atoms trying to orient their electron spins parallel to each other to minimize electrostatic interaction. And this comes from basically uh, the Pauli exclusion principle. So 1928 uh, Heisenberg showed that the Weiss molecular field is due to neighboring atoms. So these are the atoms that are bonded together. Uh, trying to orient the electron spins parallel to each other and the motivation to do that is to minimize electrostatic interaction. Now how does that work? How does this uh, process minimize electrostatic interaction? <clears throat> well, uh, due to Pauli exclusion principle If the two electrons in an atom have anti-parallel spins, they can share the same orbital. no two electrons can have the exactly same set of quantum numbers so if they have anti-parallel spins then they can uh, share the same orbital so this means the spatial overlap of the electron wave functions increases And this is going to increase the Coulomb energy. Which is the electrostatic energy. However, if they have parallel spins, they must occupy different orbitals so this is going to reduce Coulomb energy so this will result in reduced Coulomb energy so let's think about this uh, in a scenario so uh, let's quantify so I'm going to consider two electrons and two electrons in a circular orbit uh, and these orbits are uh, exactly at a distance r from each other and the radius of each orbit is a so I have electrons orbiting uh, like this so my question is if the two electrons are on 
different orbits like this at a distance one angstrom uh, so is the electrostatic uh, interaction between these two electrons the dominant factor or the magnetic field due to the orbital angular momentum of uh, one of the electrons uh, acting on the other that is important so uh, I'm assuming that I have two electrons that are average distance uh, that have an average distance r equals uh, one angstroms and if i calculate uh, orbit radius a is equal to one angstroms so if i calculate the uh, electrostatic energy potential energy u that is e square over 4 pi epsilon 0 times r this is uh, roughly 9 times 10 to 9 that's the constant k which is 1 over 4 pi epsilon 0 multiplied with electron charge uh, squared 1.6 10 to minus 19 coulomb squared divided by r so I'm doing this in SI units 1 angstrom is 10 to minus 10 meters the answer is 2.3 times 10 to minus 18 joules so if you consider uh, the thermal energy that would correspond to uh, 2.3 10 to minus 8 joules 18 joules uh, that kt value would give you since the Boltzmann constant is 1.38 times 10 to minus 23 joules per Kelvin uh, you can see that this would correspond to a temperature of 1.67 times 10 to 5 Kelvin so it's a it's a very big energy uh, the corresponding thermal energy has a temperature value 1.67 10 to 5 Kelvin if I consider the magnetic field that is created on the axis of the circular orbit at a distance r so it's going to be equal to I current a squared divided by 2 a squared plus r squared to the power 3 halves uh, from our uh, study of the magnetic field and we know that the current due to a circulating electron is uh, E divided by T it's minus E divided by T and that is minus EV divided by 2 pi A the radius of the orbit because V is equal to 2 pi A the circumference divided by T the period so this T is period not temperature and uh, in that case since the angular momentum of the electron is mva uh, and i can basically this is quantized in the field axis as mlh bar so for ml equals to uh, 1 i have mva is equal to h bar and v is equal to h bar divided by ma so if you substitute that into the current current would be equal to minus e h bar divided by 2 pi a multiplied with ma so that is minus e h bar over 2 m pi a squared so let's calculate this current this would be uh, 1.6 10 to minus 19 coulombs h bar Planck's constant 6.63 10 to minus 34 joule seconds divided by 2 pi so I have another 2 pi here so this will be 4 pi uh, squared electron rest mass 9.11 10 to minus 31 kilograms a square is 10 to minus 20 meters square so you can see that the current that you obtain here will be 2.95 times 10 to minus 4 amperes so if I calculate the axial uh, magnetic field 
this will be a 2.95 10 to minus 4 amperes times 10 to minus 20 meters squared divided by 2 uh, a squared plus r squared they are both 10 to minus 20 so 2 times 10 to minus 20 to the power 3 over 2 and this comes out 521,491 amps per meter and since we have one Ersted is equal to 1000 divided by 4 pi amps per meter this is equal to 6551 Ersted the corresponding energy is uh, the electron spin has a magnetic moment Bohr magneton minus mu b times the axial magnetic field that it feels so this is minus 9.27 10 to minus 21 ergs per ersted uh, Bohr magneton times 6551 ersted that is 6.07 10 to minus 17 ergs or 6.07 10 to minus 34 joules because we have one joule is equal to 10 to 7 ergs so this is equal to 1.38 times 10 to minus 23 t so that's Boltzmann constant times temperature and we find that the temperature is 0 0.4 Kelvin so here we had a 1.67 10 to 5 Kelvin here we have 0 0.4 Kelvin so this is one way of uh, comparing the two energy terms <clears throat> so which one should be minimized uh, you can see that the dominant factor here is the clump energy uh, so the conclusion is that the Coulomb energy minimization is the dominant effect so the fact that the electron orbit applies a magnetic field on the spin is a secondary effect the more important effect here is the uh, minimization of the electrostatic energy so we're discussing the origin of the Weiss molecular field and Heisenberg says that it is due to uh, <clears throat> the neighboring atoms trying to orient the electron spins parallel to each other in order to minimize the Coulomb energy. And uh, this is due to the Pauli exclusion principle. If the two spins have a parallel orientation, then they will not uh, occupy the same orbital so the wave function overlap will be less Coulomb energy will be reduced so we, we have quantified this so if you consider two electrons at an average distance of one angstroms from each other and one electron is on an orbit with radius a and the distance between the electrons I called R so the electrostatic energy here is e square over 4 pi epsilon 0 R that is uh, calculated here and it corresponds to a thermal energy kt of 2.3 10 to minus 18 joules and absolute temperature 1.67 10 to 5 kelvin on the other hand if i calculate the magnetic field created by this electron at a distance one angstrom i find that that magnetic field is 6551 ersted and the energy of the spin inside this magnetic field would be minus mu b h axial that corresponds to a thermal energy absolute temperature of 0 0.4 kelvin so the minimization of the uh, magnetostatic energy is, is not significant it's the electrostatic energy that dominates this process so the electrons will prefer to have parallel spins to to occupy different orbitals to increase the distance average distance between them uh, and therefore the Weiss molecular field uh, is justified.